Hello, my friends. Behind me are the Huangshan Mountains, one of the main national parks of China. Some Chinese people consider it to be the main attraction, because if you've been to Huangshan, you can skip all the rest. All sorts of wonders, magnificent views, and items of interest of China can be found here. This is a large mountain range with a great number of ridges. It takes two days to see all of the Huangshan beauties. However, many cable cars have been built here recently, so you can fit this journey into one day. I must say that the views are truly breathtaking. Unique nature adds a flavor. You must keep in mind that it's a very popular place. I advise you to visit Huangshan, not in the tourist season. We're lucky. It's the end of June, so there are relatively few tourists here. It's possible to have kilometer-long queues down there, waiting their turn to take the cable car. It's no joke. It's better to pay a visit here, around this time of year. These are very quiet Chinese tourists. They're usually calm. They never shout. They bring pleasure to Russian tourists. We definitely don't plug their ears when they see them, because they're so calm and peaceful. Russian tourists love to listen to Chinese tourists. Fortunately, they're going faster than we are. These paved footpaths and stone steps run along the entire length of the Huangshan Mountains. 
The vast footpath system is very diverse and you can spend days walking on it through the Huangshang mountains along the ridges and valleys. It's best if you can spend more than one day here if possible because there's so much to see. <laughs> the Chinese usually come here during the weekends to have a rest and enjoy the fresh air. Because of the diverse cable car system, you can ascend or climb up a mountain on one side, have a stroll around there, then stay overnight at a hotel and descend on the other side. This is a great adventure. Unfortunately, we can't do so today. We took the standard one-day route. But this was also great. Here's a map of Huangshang Mountains with all the popular peaks. Right now we're on the highest one, which is 1,864 meters above sea level. It's called Guangming, or Bright Summit. The views here are truly marvelous, without a doubt.
We're advertising hiking routes for simple Chinese people. Every weekend, simple Chinese tourists climb up these tiny mountains with just several kilometers uphill. It's no big deal for a common Chinese worker. If you want to get really tired and worn out in one day, more than a whole year of hard work, then Huangshan Mountains are for you. You're welcome.